Okay, somebody wrote me and asked me if I'd do a few little simple uh, animals. Uh, they want to make a little collection for their grandchildren. And uh, I said, yeah, I, I can do that. Uh, I'm not the best animal carver in the world, but I, I, can, I'm, I can do fairly well. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'd start this off with a little simple horse. And uh, uh, I thought this would be a lot of fun to do some simple carvings for a while. We'll get back to Mike's uh, wonderful carvings. We've done some more di dip, uh, excuse me, more difficult carvings, uh, figures. And uh, so I just cut out a little miniature horse here. He's about uh, from top to bottom. He's probably around two and a half, well, about almost three inches, and then about three and a half this way. Cut out a one and a quarter inch wood. And I thought we would do that as a project. Uh, now, I want you to understand something. Uh, this is not going to be a detailed horse. This is something that you just make for your little grandchildren or something. Now, if you're more of a veteran carver and would like to be interested uh, in uh, learning how to carve uh, horses in very much detail, and then uh, let me recommend you to go to what's called Out West Wood Carving. And uh, that's the Lynn Dolce site. And Lynn is the, uh, as we might say, the connoisseur of Western carvings. Uh, character carvings and uh, uh, he has uh, tutorials and stuff on how to carve a horse uh, this what I'm carving today is more uh, playful it's more of just uh, the, the, the detail is not going to be all that great but I mean it'll be alright but we're just doing this for fun for beginners and if you want more detail, then I suggest uh, it's called Out West Wood Carving, Lynn Daltrey. And Lynn is uh, not just a wonderful horse uh, carver, but a cowboy carver. He's a, he's a western carver, and he does a fantastic job of it. And uh, what's even more amazing, he does it with a, uh, uh, a paper cu uh, uh, box cutter. And uh, I've never learned how to do that yet. <laughs> But uh, Lynn does a, and he's got some videos, and please uh, look that up. Lynn's a wonderful man and uh, a great guy, and he is um, very, very good at this. But this is just something for a little afternoon project. You sit down, carve a little horse for your grandchildren or something like that, and that's all this is going to be. So, let me get my wonderful Mike Shipley knife here that he... Uh, oh, I mean, I love this thing, folks. I'll tell you what I do. I, I can't brag on it enough what, uh, how much I like it. It's just, uh, it's like an improved Ron Wells, and I just like it so much. Okay, now, we've got our little uh, horse here, which will involve cutting between the legs and stuff like that. But like I said, this is not going to be a real detail. This is something you can sit on in an afternoon and just have a good time doing. So what we've got here on the back of the horse is, of course, the tail right in here. And I drew it on this side. And I think the first thing we want to start doing is to kind of remove some wood for that tail. Okay? And we're going to remove a little wood. We're going to bring that tail. Of course, it's going to be brought in. Now, I tell you what. If you're, you've got a grandchild or several grandchildren, and you, you just leave a legacy for you one day, or grandchildren especially, carve you a bunch of animals for them, for their rooms and stuff. And, and uh, uh, you know, if anything ever happens to you, they've got that to remember you by. And uh, I tell you what, uh, carvings like that would just be wonderful for somebody's home. Or, or uh, and these are simple. These are not, like I said, these are not real detailed carvings. Okay.
I'm just cutting. What I'm doing is I'm thinning out that tail, just like if you were doing a dog or anything like that. I'm just thinning out that tail, as you can see. But this is a great little project for an afternoon for a child. Uh, everybody likes a little old horse. I mean, it's just, you know. And like I said, great project. And you just start off by removing some wood from the tail. Get that tail down just a little bit. There we go. Just bringing it down. We're not going to... Uh... Okay. Now, let's go ahead and as you know, this part in here is, is separate from, it's kind of the main in here, as we say. Let's start bringing that down just a little bit. Now, I, I forgot to tell you one thing. When you cut this out, you want your grain to be running this way, okay? Because your legs and everything, when you start to carve them, uh, you, want, you want your grain to be running this way. All right. Not a difficult project, just something. See that? Already starting to take a little shape, a little form. Okay, just kind of shaping it up a layer a little bit. Now, if you want to swing that tail, you can either have it coming straight down or you can kind of swing that tail over here like this. Kind of coming up like that. Doesn't really matter what you do. We'll just go ahead and make it straight down. Give a little wave at the end down here. And you come to the middle here where you're going to be separating your legs, which we have to be careful doing, but you know. <laughs> 